Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial today. I know, I know, it's crazy. It's so good. I'm actually super excited for you guys to see. It's on this snatched ponytail right here. Hi, snatched pony. Don't really know what I'm calling it. I think that's good, like a high snatched ponytail. Um, and I also show you how I fill in my hairline super easy, just using eyeshadow, super quick and simple for you guys. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, hey, what is up? I am Monica, so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for being here and tuning in. And if you're already subscribed, you guys already know I love y'all. I love all you guys. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see how I got this Le Snatch ponytail, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So my hair is about three days old right now and I tend to like do these types of like hairstyles like when my hair is super dirty. Um, but before I do the high pony, I like to fill in my hairline. As you can see, I have a lot of sparse areas. Like when you really pull it back, like you could see all of the basically bald spots where my baby hairs are. I like to fill all of that in just because I slick it all the way back like this and it's really visible so I want my hairline to be even all around just so it kind of looks a little nicer. So we'll go ahead and get started with filling in the hairline. Okay so I'm going to just put my hair in a super super tight bun just so I could see everything um, that I need to fill in very clear as you can see you guys see all that spotting like ooh, i don't know why i never thought about filling in my hairline before like years ago i just never thought about it it was never like a thing to me but now it's just like what i always have to do whenever i put my hair up so when i fill in my hairline there are like hair products out there that are specifically for like filling in your hairline and stuff but i don't have money for that kind of hair product and i don't even have i don't even want to go out and buy it i could just totally use what i have at home so what i use when i fill in my hairline is just plain basic eyeshadow i do it that's gonna match my hair the most that way you don't see like two different eyeshadow or two like two different colors i mean so i use a black eyeshadow because my hair is pretty much black um at least at the root where it grows out so I just use a black eyeshadow. You could use whatever color um, you want to use depending obviously on your hair color. Um, so I use just a black eyeshadow from my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette just because I never use this palette you guys. I literally only use this black eyeshadow um, to fill in my hairline because this is like the blackest black eyeshadow that I probably own. And you can use whatever brush you want. I'm using a more of a thicker angled fluffy brush it just picks up a lot of the color literally you guys just dip right into the black shadow and i'll just press and pat and i'll first take a little bit and blend this out as much as i can first before i go in with more and you can already see how much of a difference that has already made I remember a couple months back, I asked on Snapchat if you guys wanted to see how I fill in my hairline. And I had a few of you ask me, and I don't know why I never got around to doing it. Whenever it comes to, like, anything with hair, I, I don't know, I just don't have the motivation to do it like I would a makeup tutorial. So I wanted to start adding variety to my channel and incorporating, you know, little hair toots and little things like that, because I do get asked... How I curl my hair and how I do my hair this day if I like pin it back or something you know so I'm willing to kind of venture out and try new things now so we'll definitely be seeing some more hair stuff in the future you see how much of a difference like this already makes this side is worse than this side I try not to bring too much of it towards the front but I do just a tad and then I pick up very little bit more and actually bring it on to my actual head and I just lightly pat that because I have hair right here but I just need a little bit more at the root so it looks more fuller you know what I mean and there you go that's completely filled in now and this is kind of like what it looked like before after before 
after. So I'm really just doing the other side now. All right, so for the most part, that is completely filled in and it already looks so much fuller and it's just eyeshadow, you guys. So the thing with the black is that it will kind of go onto your hands a little bit, but once we slick it back um, and put the hairspray and everything, it's gonna lock it all into place. All right, so the hairline is filled in, you guys. That took literally like five minutes. It was the easiest thing I've ever done. Time for the ponytail. My hair, like I said, is pretty dirty right now, so I'm just gonna take a brush and brush my hair out. That way there is just no tangles at all. Oh, my arms look huge. Oh my God, I'm sorry, you guys. And you can see how oily my hair is because how it's slicked back like that, like that's all oil, you guys. So some days I have to deal with it and that's when I either wear a hat, put it in a bun, or I'll do this hairstyle that I'm about to do right now. So once our hair is combed out, I like to go in with a little pomade for your hair. This one is called Murray's Superior Hair Dressing Pomade. The cover's all messed up because I've had this for probably like two years, you guys, and like I barely made a dent. Okay, like there's so much in here, but it's really hard. It's kind of tacky, but it's really hard. So you want to heat it up with a blow dryer first so it can become a little bit more looser and then we'll apply it in our hair. So once you heat it up for about 30 seconds, you can really get product on your fingertips. This stuff, you guys, is so good if you have like a lot of flyaways like I do. I have so much baby hair, so... I like to use this just to really push those babies down because Lord knows I need all the help I can get. So I'm really just rubbing this all over my head because you guys, I'm serious. I got some serious baby hair drama, okay? So now I'm gonna apply it on the bottom, kind of like when you're gonna put your hair up, how you kind of like put your hands like that. That's what I'm doing just to make sure because I have a lot of baby hairs at the bottom too that like run down my neck. I can't always get all of them like no matter how hard I try like I, I can't see back there. So it's a little difficult for me but I try to do the best I can you know. And then also behind your ears. You basically want to put it on all the edges all around your head. So now I'm just trying to bring my hair up as high as I possibly can. I'm going to get my brush and start from the bottom and really try to bring my hair as high as I can. This is probably the hardest part because I'll brush down like one side and it's so smooth and then I'll go to do the other side and then the side that was all smooth gets messed up and then I have to go back and smooth it out again. And So what I'm going to do now is put my head down and make sure that the back is completely combed out. Switch over. So I like to look to make sure, I like, I'll squeeze my hair like this to see how it's gonna sit on my head and I think that's pretty good. I like the, I like the, how high it is. So, so once you get it to the height that you want, I'm taking this little like, I don't even know what this brush is called. This says Wave Enforcer. This is Josh's brush and he's probably gonna be a little mad that I use it. He doesn't like when I use it because my hair gets in it, but this brush, you guys, is so perfect to smooth out everything, to really make it look slick. My freaking biceps are popping out right now, my bad. I keep looking at my little screen thing because I wanna make sure I'm in focus. Guys, I don't film hair tutorials, so the camera's a lot further away from me than it is when I'm like doing a makeup tutorial, because like when I'm doing a makeup tutorial, I can tell when I'm in focus because the camera's close, but it's kind of far. So I feel I look like I'm in focus, but I mean, you guys will probably find out. So when I'm about almost done, I want to put my hair up really quick and just like a bullshit bun like this and get more of the pomade and run it on the back of my hair and on the sides behind my ears. And this pomade stuff, you guys, I think I got it for like four bucks at Walmart. Like it's so inexpensive. 
it's super affordable and you get so much as you can see like I barely put a dent and you don't see like any of my baby hairs like flying around right now so it totally works out also right now I'm gonna get my hairspray I'm using the Suave Professionals I don't know hairspray and I'm gonna spray the back so once I have that smoothed out, I'm going to go over it one more time, take my hair out, take my brush, go over everything one last time. So once you feel like everything is smoothed out for the most part, I'm taking, I'm double hair tying it and I am going to start to tie my hair up. Like so, let me fix my mirror. There we go. And I like to take my thumb and push back on the hair tie to really make the ponytail like sit on top of my head. And then I will brush out this. We're gonna go back in and hide that ponytail, but for now I wanna just worry about the front, making sure that everything is nice and pinned down. So I'm taking some hairspray because I didn't hairspray the front as you've seen. I only did the back. So now I'm doing the front, really smoothing everything out. I'm going to go in with a little bit more pomade. Just like on my baby hairs that are like on my temples right here, my little devil horns because those will pop up no matter what. Like some of them are so short that like there's no coming back from them. Like they're going to stay like that. But I try to tame these babies as much as I possibly can. Woo, feeling tight. What I like to do to hide the ponytail is I'll take some hair from my ponytail from the back and I will part it from my hair and just simply wrap it around that ponytail until it stops wrapping and then I will get a bobby pin. Bobby pin that ish down. Alright guys, now it's going to wrap it up for this little hair tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you guys like this hair tutorial and tell me how I did. I don't really do hair tutorials often, but like I said, I do want to start adding them to my channel. So, alright guys, well yep, it's pretty easy as you can see. So I don't have anything else to say. Just thank you so much for tuning in and watching today's video. And as always, subscribe, like, and share if you want to. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.